In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my mom's famous vegetable soup. Now, this recipe is famous in my house because it is the one recipe that everyone loves to eat. And my mom usually would make a big batch of whenever we have a family get together in the house. It's actually very easy to make and requires few ingredients that are easy to source as well. For this, you need some shredded ugu leaves, water leaves and ukazi leaves. You'd also need some pomo, dried fish, smoked fish, goat meat, onions, palm oil, seasoning powder, fresh pepper, crayfish powder, and some salt to taste. As usual, the full ingredient list will be in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out there, okay? Now, grab the goat meat and add to the pot along with the pomo, which is also known as cow skin. At this point, you can use any protein of your choice that will totally be fine as well. Now season this with some fresh pepper, onions, seasoning powder and some salt to taste. Then add enough water to cook the meat through, mix everything to combine, cover the pot and leave to cook until it is nice and tender. Now halfway through the cooking process of the meat, I added the stockfish just to help soften it up slightly. Everything is tender, take it out of the pot and set aside. In the same pot, add the palm oil and leave to heat up slightly. Then add the chopped onions and stir fry for a few minutes until it is nice and fragrant. Afterwards, add the water leaves, mix to combine and then leave to simmer for 3-4 to four minutes, stirring occasionally until the water leaves releases all of its liquid and has dried out slightly. Now you want to ensure that you undergo this process so that you do not have vegetable soup that is too liquidy, okay? Because the water leaves has a lot of water content in it. Afterwards, add the cooked meat back into the pot followed by the smoked fish and some crayfish powder, seasoning powder and some salt to taste. Mix everything to combine, then cover the pot and allow to cook for a further 5 minutes. After about 5 minutes, open up the pot and at this time guys, the aroma in your kitchen should be heavenly! <laughs> Next, add the ukazi leaves, mix again to combine and leave to cook for another 5 minutes because ukazi leaves are very tough and would need some time to soften up. Finally, add the ugu leaves, then cover the pots and allow the vegetable to wilt for a few seconds. Then open up the pot and then mix everything to combine. Now this would actually prevent the vegetables from spilling all over your stove top, which can be very annoying. All that's left now is for you to take this off the heat immediately and serve on the plate with any swallow of your choice. Now this soup is not only tasty, mouth-watering, nourishing and satisfying, it's also one of the easiest soups that you can make. In fact, you can literally make it in less than 20 minutes if you have all of your proteins pre-cooked. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this particular episode. I know that you have learned a thing or two. Please do not forget to share this video with your friends and family so that they too can learn something new as well. I'll see you next time with another mouthwatering and delicious recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously, and it's me, the Queen of Fun and Fast Girl King, signing out right now. Take care, guys!